We are at the Polk County Republicans uh, dinner, the Rob Kelly Club Victory Dinner, the second annual one of those. We're going to have all kinds of people coming and joining us during the day. Okay. Joining uh, us immediately, we've got Senator Brad Zorn from Urbandale. Senator, thank you so much for taking the time to uh, stop by the table. Thank you so much. It's an honor and welcome to Iowa. Thank you very much, sir. So uh, you just come uh, hot foot from the Capitol where I understand the budget is in trouble again. Well, uh, that's kind of what I've been told. I think uh, what we need to do is we need to put uh, the government, both state and federal government, on a treadmill like they're talking about there with that shrimp. But uh, it sounds to me like that the budget negotiations are breaking down a little bit. Uh, that's the word that I got. I know that the leaders got together about 3.30 or 4 this afternoon, and, and uh, it was about a three-minute meeting from what I could observe. I mean, are we wow. going to get a, a bill that bans late-term abortion or are we not? Uh, I'm very hopeful. I was uh, very vocal on the floor in regards to that. I was very disappointed in the bill that the Senate put out. Uh, really, it was just uh, so Senator uh, Gronstel could save face. It was uh, the it was cover my butt bill. Of the that way. is exactly yes. what it was, and it doesn't do anything to ban late-term abortions. Nope. And if nothing's done, we will become the late-term abortion capital of the Midwest. Um, exactly. I could tell you stories after stories about the abuses that are going on in mm -hmm. cities. Uh, just as close as Springfield, uh, Missouri, uh, they were caught down there shortening the uh, yellow light so they could get more people. Wow. Um, there is no regulations. You don't know from one city to the other uh, what, you, uh, what you're getting into, and this is nothing but a money grab. And uh, joining us at the table right now is uh, Senator Jack Whitver. Senator, thank you for stopping by. Hey, it's great to be here. Welcome to Iowa. Hope you're enjoying it so far. I am. You are the new kid on the block. I am. You are. And, uh, and we shared a very nice lunch the other day, so, uh, so I enjoyed that and enjoyed getting to know you. In, in the scale of you know, being a wide receiver, <laughs> uh, being a coach for the Barnstormers, uh, running your own business, how does this, how does this rank on, on the level of difficulty? Um, it's definitely a challenge. <laughs> I would add law school in there, too. I just yeah. started back summer school. but uh, No, it, it's, it's tough, but it's a rewarding job. Um, mm -hmm. I've enjoyed it so far, and, and uh, it's something that um, it definitely takes a lot of time and energy, but something that is uh, well worth yeah. is, you know, so when G uh, Senator Gronstall wants to bring up his bills, mm -hmm. our number one job is to um, pick out the flaws, make sure the people are aware of what they're trying to do, and go mm -hmm. out and inform the public. So I, I think you can count on one hand the number of bills that Republicans have actually passed in the Senate this year. Uh -huh. So as far as achievements of what we've done legislatively isn't, isn't really much to talk about. But yeah. But the things that we have stopped or slowed down or at least um, put on the table. You know, I think the Des Moines Register talked last week about how this has been the least productive session in 30 years or something. Mm -hmm. There's only passed 120 bills that have been signed by the governor. But mm -hmm. from my standpoint, sometimes the less we do, the better. You know, the, the fewer bills we pass, the safer your pocketbook is yeah. and the more personal liberty you have. So um, our achievements come in, in winning those battles by getting laws stopped from coming through. Are we going to get a ban on late-term abortion or not? I don't think so. I really don't think so. I, you know, what the bill that the Senate Democrats brought forward um, provides a lot of political cover for Governor or Senator Gronstall, want to be Governor Gronstall, with that way he's acting. <laughs> I um, wish he'd run. Yeah, he he I mean, thinks he, he has the run veto pen. <laughs> but um, I, I don't think so. He, he passed that bill so he can go back home and say, well, I did my job. I passed a bill to keep him out of council bluffs. But mm -hmm. we all know the truth, and the truth's going to come out in the 2012 election, and I think that's where uh, it's really going to hurt wow. him. We're mm -hmm. still a little ways apart on how those things are getting done, but we're winning the battle as far as, as, far as uh, the people go. I think the people are on our side, and I think that's really important to, to convey tonight. Um, Rob Kelly was the sort of person who would never assert himself or put himself out front. He was a big man. He was six foot eight. Wow. Dartmouth educated, a very successful business person, full of community service and, and a lot of goodwill and a kind man. Uh, and it's wonderful that the party uh, honors him by naming their annual event after Rob Kelly. Yeah, I mean, David Funk, uh, no Michelle Buckman. Well, yes and no, not in person, but she will be here by a live video feed. Unfortunately, uh, with the delays of the votes today out on air and any terrorism legislation in D.C., mm -hmm. um, They've literally got an airplane standing by to take her, and uh, it doesn't look like she's going to be able to get on it in time to get out to Iowa this evening for that portion of the event. I kind of feel like back in my old airline days where, you know, ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. The good news is the wings are still attached. The bad news is we're landing short, so um, <laughs> hopefully on an airport. But anyway, long story uh, short.
short to, to sum it up. Programs going, dinners going as scheduled, and we expect to have a live video feed uh, from Michelle Bachman. We've been working on that for the last couple hours as a plan B. It turned out plan B has now become plan A. Sure. So okay. She's still a congresswoman. She still has a responsibility to the American people, and we appreciate Absolutely. what she's doing. Absolutely. We have presidential candidates almost going door to door. and. Uh, we, I used to joke that you shouldn't commit until you had everybody in your home a couple of times, but mm -hmm. uh, this is a good time, as good a time as any, to just to ask people to take this process very seriously, to think carefully. Mm -hmm. uh, they're going to hear a lot of uh, messages from many different people, but we're picking the if not picking, we're certainly helping to select the next president of the United States. And uh, so walking up to the table right now, taking a seat, <laughs> is uh, Governor Terry Branstead. Governor, thank you for stopping by. Well, you bet. I'm glad to be here, Simon. Thank uh, you. I know you're in a, a bit of a rush today. I know you're very short time here, so we appreciate you coming uh, here. Uh, it would appear that uh, the Democrats have uh, said no again. They've walked away. You were quite positive yesterday, and now they want to spend more money. Well, that's right. They want to spend more money than the state is taking in. Uh, we've had um, private discussions with them for the last uh, couple of weeks. We thought we were making some progress. Uh, we've worked things out with the House Republicans, and we've, we've put our proposal together. We asked them to come back with a counterproposal, mm -hmm. and they decided not to. First of all, uh, we thought they were going to. Yep. Then they decided not to. So they Three haven't gotten meetings, serious uh, about addressing the issues, and I think the people of Iowa expect us to do the job and work at it and resolve the issues and spend less than we take in. And unfortunately, they don't seem to have gotten the message no, yet. They, no, the no. Democrats have tried to threaten a shutdown, but the truth of the matter is that uh, uh, the governor has uh, certain powers mm -hmm. to run government even if they don't pass a budget. Okay. Uh, and, and I don't want to have to do that, but I'm, I'm absolutely committed to doing what we have to do to protect the health, safety, and well-being of the people of Iowa, and we're not going to let one party and one branch of government hold the, the state of Iowa hostage. So, Right now, partly cloudy in 65. The Home Depot made a special buy, six-pack wave petunias are just 498 Cover more ground with these colorful... And uh, sitting at the table right now is Lieutenant Governor Kim Reynolds. Kim, thank you very much for stopping by. Thank you, Simon. It's a pleasure to be here. And you have been very busy traveling all over the state the last few days. We have. We spent the last two days in northeast Iowa. It's been a great trip. We've visited uh, four or five different counties, seven mm -hmm. communities. We've had a phenomenal turnout at each stop. Um, um, whether it's in the morning or in the afternoon, I really encourage probably anywhere from 85 to 100 um, Iowans uh, showing up to ask questions, talk about the state of Iowa and how we bring jobs to the state of Iowa. So it's been a great turnout. We uh, have a group of Republicans who have offered an agenda legislatively that's very balanced. Everyone thinks because of the front page of the Des Moines Register that the only thing we focus on is social issues. And that's 100 percent wrong. Actually, I think today Tom Harkin has talked about how Medicare is going to be the defining issue of 2012, yeah. which is a little ironic from a senator that hasn't voted for a budget in about two and a half years <laughs> because we haven't seen any leadership on these fiscal issues. Yep. And I think it's courageous for those Republicans in Washington that are saying, you know what, a message was sent by the American people in November yep. and they want leadership. Uh, Matt Strawn, thank you very much uh, for dropping by the table. I really do appreciate it. Chairman of the Iowa State uh, GOP, we really, uh, we really appreciate you doing that. And uh, hopefully we're going to have a great evening tonight. I'm we looking, will. Thanks, I'm looking Simon. looking forward to emceeing it, I can tell you that.